Hi, I'm Caitlin. I'm a Residence Experience Coordinator or a Rec here on campus and today I'm going to show you what it's like living in halls. No matter what halls you're living in, you'll have your own room with a bed, a desk, a chair and a wardrobe. You'll also have either an ensuite bathroom or shared bathroom facilities and a communal kitchen area. There's also laundry facilities on site and all your bills are included with your rent, most importantly, your Wi-Fi. So this is one of our halls off campus and it's only a short bus journey away as all of our halls are. Some students just prefer living off campus so they've got a new place to explore. Depending on what hall you're living in, you may have a common room where events will take place or an outdoor space such as a garden or a terrace where you can hang out with your flatmates. If you need any out of hours support, the campus support officers are based in the Loring Management Centre just behind me and they're available either by phone or you can pop in and have a chat with them. campus support, how can I help? Every hall has a residence experience coordinator and they're a group of students who put on social events in the halls. So this is Gary and Linda and they're Rex at the moment. It's mainly like offering support for students and organising events for them where they can socialise and have you know, a few drinks, um, a few snacks and an activity. But also we direct them to a lot of um, services on campus as well, like the student centre if they need or the CSOs. We definitely try to cater the events to the hall that we're doing it at, something that would be more interesting to them. There's also, of course, a Facebook page where they could get in touch with us. And what about like the local area around the different halls? We want to show them that there's, there's a lot to do in their area. We organise a lot of outdoor activities like walks and um, tours, especially for international students so they get to see a bit of London. It's just a nice way for, for us and for them to socialise and do a lot of fun activities together. So this is one of our common room spaces and this is a place where you can come to study or socialise. It's also a space where your recs will put on events such as pizza parties, movie nights and games nights. But even if your hall isn't on campus, there's loads of stuff to check out and do. There's cafes and galleries, museums and your recs can always point you in the direction of events that are going on. When you move to halls, you probably won't know anyone, you won't really know what to expect. So we're going to talk to Ibrahim, who's a fellow rec, about his halls experience. So how's your experience in halls been? Living at halls at first felt kind of scary, but then it's like after a while you get to know your flatmates, you get to be independent for the first time in your life, your friends become your family. I know it sounds corny, but hey. So how did you find um, the application process? It's pretty good. Um, you kind of just apply for like a few different options. On the website, you can kind of see what the room's going to be. So when you go there, there's no surprises. Some people worry about not getting the halls that they initially chose. Do you think that's a problem if you don't get your top choice? It's all different in their own way. Some halls have like really big common areas, others have small common areas but are close to uni. There's always going to be like events, there's always going to be people, you're always going to make friends. If you want to know any more about the local area, watch some more of our videos and send any questions you have to the accommodation team before you move in. See you in September!